come down for my lunch break. Can't get into the fridge because there's a camera, but I am excited because there's some cooking action going on. We have two wonderful, world famous, uh, nearly Catalan chefs, Camilla Leyland and Emma. Camilla Leyland, that's your pre-marriage name. Sorry, Camilla Strong. My goodness, we haven't divorced. And Emma Morrison. And when we went to the castle San Pedro de Ribas, do you remember there was that amazing recipe for, I'm gonna get this right, Jato. It's a shame we don't live in a chateau because we could say Jato at the chateau, but we live in a mansion, so never mind. But we are gonna show you how to cook this at a power pace. Five or six minutes, super action, and then hopefully you'll be able to make it yourselves because seriously, when we tried it before, it's delicious. Yeah, we did a test run because we've actually devised our own magical recipe based on lots of chateau recipes that we read and also based on an interest in nutrition and flavour and here we have the perfect magical chateau recipe. Excellent. Okay. So tell me first, very quickly, what's the ingredients in 20 seconds? We're going to have three tomatoes roasted, half a bulb of garlic of which one will be raw, the rest roasted, special Nura peppers and they are just gorgeous. We're going to blanch these and take the flesh, hazelnuts and almonds, 100 grams of each, Himalayan rock salt, black olive oil, this one's not from Aragon, but we think it's very, very tasty and we're going to use it. Some black olives, artichokes, anchovies, tuna, salted cod, and spring onions. Don't forget the curly lettuce. Yes, so <laughs> most importantly of all is this lettuce. It's quite a bitter flavour, so having this sauce will really, really help take away the bitterness and complement it in fact. Excellent. We're going to put all the recipe in the description. Do give it a go though, because we tried it out, oh, it's delicious. Mm. On which note, I look forward to tasting it soon. I have to go back to my work. Enjoy. Okay, for those of you that didn't see the castle at all, it's perhaps important we explain what is Chateau. Okay, we got really excited about this recipe when we went and visited Reeves Castle the other day. And it's a local Catalan recipe, which is sort of like a salsa style sauce, which goes over a leafy fish salad. Tell us what you're doing here. First of all, I'm going to chop up these tomatoes, which is going to be roasted. How long is it going in the oven for? 20 minutes. Emma, I think it's important we tell everybody the truth, <laughs> don't you? While I do love to cook, Emma, how do you think about cooking? Okay. It isn't my favourite pastime. <laughs> I usually get really stressed about it. So I am eternally grateful because you have, despite your dislike for cooking, agreed to come into my kitchen and cook with me. In it goes. So Camilla, what are you doing now? Well, we need to roast some whole garlic, but am I just going to put it in the oven like this? No, I'm going to crush it. Why, you may ask? Well, because when you crush or chop garlic, research now shows that it releases these sulfur compounds, and the sulfur compounds are really, really beneficial to your health. One in particular is converted into allicin, and allicin is particularly good for things like preventing autoimmune disease. And it's a bit of an unstable compound, allicin, so that's why we want to have it at its most rich, which means we put the garlic in one clove, raw, and we try to eat it as soon as possible after it's been crushed. We've got half a bulb that we're using here. We're gonna place the other cloves, crushed simply, so they're gonna be with their skins on, but crushed, and placed in the oven, tightly packed in some foil. Okay, this sounds good. So, can you tell me all the health benefits? It helps you regulate blood sugar, it lowers your blood pressure, it also strengthens your immune system, it prevents heart disease, detoxifies your body, it's anti-inflammatory, it prevents and treats colds, it improves your bone health, it lowers your cholesterol, it contains antioxidants, and so therefore, it helps prevent cancer. Excellent. We need loads of this. We're putting in a lot. We're putting in a whole half bulb. I'm just going to take a little piece of tin foil and the ones that I'm going to roast, I'm going to place inside and I'm going to just pack it in a little gift size present and into the oven again. And then what are we doing next? Okay, so we get the neuro peppers and we stab them 
Talk violently. Hang on, I think you're actually enjoying cooking more than you realise. <laughs> and then, yes, we gently place them in a pan of water. We pop these on the hob to boil for five minutes, and then after that, they can sit in the hot water for another five to ten minutes. Well, I know that you're really hoping we're going to be using this, but we're not quite ready for this yet the black olive oil. Instead, we need to just rough chop this little piece of garlic and the 100 grams of almonds and 100 grams of hazelnut. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm just going to store this in here. We're going to put it back in later, but I want to prepare the other ingredients and then add this. This salad is called escarola here, and in English it's on deep, and it's really, really yummy, but quite bitter, so it does need a, a sauce to go with it. And here's the neuro peppers that they have soaked after being boiled for five minutes. I'm just going to open them up so they can cool down a bit because you can see they're really, really hot. Out of the oven, we are going to get our roasted tomato and our garlic. Going straight in here. With the neuro peppers, we roasted them, we removed the seeds and then we took the flesh out of the skin. So here you can see a little skin graveyard. And then that's going to go into here. This flavour is very distinctive. I'm going to pour in about three tablespoonfuls of the black olive oil, the apple cider vinegar. Great, that's about one dessert spoon there. And a half a teaspoonful of Himalayan rock salt. Put in the nuts. Emma, I don't think that's quite runny enough. No problem. Three-ish tablespoons of the water from the peppers. Okay, and then add it in here so you get the flavour. Yum! And then mix it all up. Okay. Ooh, Emma, I love this chateau, this magical chateau sauce. So we are going to actually now just put the other ingredients on. We're going to put the spring onions, the lask, so it looks like a nice little garnish. And we're not going to use all of this sauce. You can see there's actually a massive amount here. So some of it we're going to jar and put in the fridge, ready for our next chateau salad. Let's go. We're going to put on a little bit of this around our salad. And then we're going to put on some salted cod. I might add a bit more of the sauce in a minute, but I wanted to see how it looks because obviously looks are very important. I personally really, really like seafood, so this is lucky. The artichokes, tuna, and I'm going to use the oil. So this is in olive oil, this tuna. Anchovies. Again, the oil goes on. More like a sort of salad than a salad. Black olives. A bit more of this before we complete our dish. A little bit there. A little bit more. Teeny bit more. Wait, mm -hmm. the oh, final sorry. finishing touch is the spring onion. And that pop of green on the top really just makes this signature magical chateau. Mm -hmm, yum. That looks amazing. It's a complete meal, isn't it? Come on, try a little bit. Mm, it's delicious. Oh wow, that, I'm ready. I'm going to dive in. Mmm, <laughs> really good. Yeah, it's a really distinctive flavour and a good one at that. Let's tuck in. We're on one of the main arteries into Sitges. Where are we off to? We're going to try and find the carpet of flowers. Ah, yes. So this is Corpus Christi in uh, Sitges, and they have this thing where they cover the uh, ground with carpets made of flowers. And they, they start last night, work all the way through the night. Last time we missed it, in fact, the time before we missed it. But this time, we're here. We hope. Yes, we hope, unless we've missed it. We've just got to get there. <laughs> Ollie, you've got to come and see what's over here. Oh my word! Look. This is so beautiful, look. Raina. Okay. Raina and they. Lovely. I'm just going to compete on height. I'm getting there. Uh, I don't know, who's the tallest sister? Uh, she's got heels on. Yeah, but who's normally the Me. tallest? Oh, okay. <laughs> Neither of you are giants, you're the perfect heights. Where are we going? Think along here. Yeah? 
I really look up to this woman. Oh, you really do. Oh, look at these. Many, like many people were up for hours in the night doing this. There's something lovely about making something so beautiful that's only going to last for a few hours. It makes it even more special. It really does. Apparently, they actually get the street sweepers out and it goes away tonight. Oh. I well, know. We made it this time, that's the main I thing. I know, thank goodness we've made it. Emma, why don't you go and roll on them? <laughs> uh, why don't you? Oh, no, no, you go first. It's a tradition. Uh, it's a tradition. But you know something? What they should do is they should make that part of the festival, that's that just true. 20 <laughs> minutes before they vacuum it away, yeah. you're allowed to roll all over it. That'll be fun. <laughs> We're on a one-way system, look. Oh, OK, sorry. That's OK. No need to apologise. Well, I can't believe I almost walked the wrong way. I know. I'm That's such a rebel. So rebellious. And you're leading the way, so you were going to lead us astray. The way they've kind of done the darker red in the middle. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. We need to have uh, flowers in our hair next year. Oh, that now would be so nice. I think you'd look especially nice with a little garland. I think I would, actually. And around I think the it neck. would complete my uh, yeah. look. Bunting in the street. Yeah. Emma is just saying that this is her favourite. What were you yeah. saying? It's very regal. Regal with the yeah. purple. Pretty to look at all the houses, isn't it? As well, it really is. This is Emma's new gaff. There's a really nice on the rooftop. Yeah, Lots of Ooh. they've even decorated here. Oh, yeah. oh, my word, look at the length of this! <laughs> Can you imagine just strolling down the center of it? <laughs> You've got this naughty street you know, just at the end before they sweep it away in a long trailing dress. Oh, darling, that's so <laughs> Romantic hooliganism, Camilla. I love it. It's a new thing. I don't want you to miss a single flower on this one. It's so pretty. OK, I'm going for it. Holly, behave yourself. I am. I'm going to go all the way down. Hi, ladies. I am going for this. Very dedicated. This is a long way down. I love this house. That's a lovely house I chose for Emma, but apparently that's not good enough for her. No, I'm going to move into this house. This is amazing. Emma! It's so cool. It is. <laughs> I'm liking your style. Yeah. Oh, my word. Yeah, I mean, it's got a nice entrance up to a, oh, you wow. know, and look at the top of the door. I could see myself here. It's, it's destiny, Emma, it's destiny. <laughs> I made it. My exercise for the whole year is done. I think it's time for a drink. Completely worn myself out. We have to go and get a drink. Yeah. Look at the dragonflies. Here on this one, look. Oh, wow. It's really difficult to know which one's my favourite. I think mine might be this one. I just love the imagination of it. Love it. They put so much effort in. <laughs> Look, it's um, lily pads with dragonflies flying out. It's really beautiful. And down there is the sea and a little cold drink. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, St George, which is as we are... Uh... Catalonia and England. Yes, we share a patron saint, which is very cool.
Happy weekend. Do you want to know where he gets his makeup from? I do. Look, they are humongous. I love them. Would you like it if I had eyelashes like that, darling? Definitely, and some guy liner. Guy liner. I think he's looking in the mirror. Oh, you're right. They've got like a duck dragon in Sitches. Look, was it a bird dragon? Ooh. I mean, we have a three-headed dragon, so, yeah, so we're not one jealous. One yeah, yeah, no, sorry. It's good, but three heads. I think it's a cat. Is it? is kindly guarding the fort. It's all excitement. We are off on a holiday for the weekend. Camping, of all things. What could possibly go wrong? Really? It's Friday night, nearly nine o'clock, so pretty tired. We have arrived at this campsite, only half an hour's drive from where we live, and it's bursting with flowers and palms and tents. Yeah, we've got little lights. Look at the flowers. It's beautiful. I think I might move in. Might need a. So we're. Should we restore a tent instead, Daddy? I think that's a great idea. <laughs> My last experience of camping <laughs> was in Sardinia, and it wasn't a good one. Um, we happened to have a tent that was right by the entertainment, and Ophelia was a baby, and she was screaming till three in the morning. So in the end, me and Ophelia had to move out and get an apartment not a very nice apartment and we went to bed at seven every night for a whole week so this is going to be better I feel it. My hat doesn't go well with this. <laughs> this is this is like out of Africa or something. Should we just take beds over here? It's lovely. Little fridge. I love the way it's also stylized. Did you sleep? I did. I think I had about six and a half hours. Kids were really having a lot of fun. I had a wonderful night's sleep, darling. I actually did. Oh wow. Yeah, I think I'm going to get myself a tent and put it in the garden. <laughs> it's so good. It's good, amazing. And I've just gone to look at the beach. I'll show everyone on the beach. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm. It's going to be all right. It's coming. It is. Oh, I love it. I'd just like to say that the uh, ladies in the coffee shop are genuinely impressed by my Spanish. I don't know what's going on. Maybe this camping is going to transform my life and I'm going to become like fluent if I stay here for the next couple of days hopefully that will be the case I have to say I've never really been to a camping site where you can go and get yourself a cafe or latte but I'm not complaining I don't remember camping being quite like this when I was in the scouts but you know idyllic 
Lovely. Oh, wow. Oh. Morning, Spain. I feel I've landed in paradise. What a beach. Robinson Crusoe or something. Can't believe that this place is literally 25 minutes, half an hour from our house. Oh. Feel very, very grateful this morning, that's for sure. My gratitude levels are strong. So stunning. That's me tomorrow running along the beach. Big question though, is the water warm? This is a big test. Going in. Oh, it's freezing. No, it's just about all right. I think I could swim in this, but it, it would be bracing. These waves are pretty punchy. I'm soaked. I had in mind gentle paddle. Wasn't expecting to go surfing. I think I'll wear my swimming shorts next time. Ollie, do you think this is going to be enough for you? Oh. I mean, this is one and a half so far. Shall I do a bit more? <laughs> I mean, there are the kids, obviously, but. Do you mean for my spa experience? Mm. I really like your hair extensions right now. She's quite cool. This is a whole new look. This is the relaxed Oliver. It's beautiful. I won't eat it. <sighs> Did you go to the hairdressers earlier? This is looking really good. I will make some sort of avocado -y guacamole thing. And who's your, who's your, are you the head chef or the sous chef? I'd like to think that I am is it a partnership? the glamorous assistant. Absolutely. <laughs> from the same hairdresser. Oh yes. Oh really? You say yes. hairdresser? Yeah. Oh I can see that actually now. Yeah. I was thinking kind of Debbie McGee. Could you be like my assistant? Yeah. That makes me Paul Daniels. I'm not sure. It does. Mm. I'm not sure about this analogy actually. I'm going to backtrack from that. Is that not a look you're after? Uh, no, it's really not. Okay, so I used to be your sous chef. Have I been demoted? Sorry, I darling, you weren't here. So I, yeah, demoted you. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. I came away on holiday and I've been demoted. I'm sure this is a joyful moment for you, in fact. <laughs> but mm. I feel rejuvenated. I can really see that right now. This what is I'm really enjoying, though, is it's just, yeah. just the line. <laughs> oh, it's just the line. So, You've got a farmer's tan. <laughs> so I'm definitely, I'm definitely British, aren't I? I'm definitely 100%. English rose. Yeah, the right minute here. we see the sun, yeah. we forget to put our suntan lotion. Uh-huh. We jump out there and we go red. Ow! And then we play the national anthem, eat cucumber sandwiches, and feel very British. Maybe have a cup of Earl Grey. Absolutely. Oh, and absolutely. then we. And then uh, darling, there's one side hitch. We don't actually have a kettle. Ah. Oh. Hello. Hello. This is a job for you. Squeeze lemon. Tiziana, you're looking ravishing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> She's just hiding now. Yeah. Okay. 